It's time for today's travel and cruise industry news. With the latest from travel and cruises around the world, here's your host, Chili Falls. Good morning. Welcome to Travel and Cruise Industry News on this, the 15th day of March, coming to you from Ocean K in the Bahamas. That, of course, is MSC's private island. I am going to be going ashore. So, in uh, full transparency, folks, this is not live as normal. I'm actually taping this at uh, a little bit before 9 a.m. Uh, our time, uh, and it will be played back at 11 like normal. So, but I'm not actually live, folks, in the studio. Uh, this is actually taped. But anyway, today is the Odds of March day. Now, and I had something to do with taxes originally. It was the day that all the taxes were due back in the Roman Empire or something like that. Of course, it became uh, most known because that was the day Julius Caesar was assassinated. But today's the Odds of March. So I don't suggest you go out and assassinate somebody to uh, celebrate it that by any means. But anyway, that's what today is. A couple ships sailing from ports in North America today down at West Palm Beach. You got the Grand Classico, which very soon will be the Margaritaville, uh, Margaritaville at Sea. That's what it's going to be called. And out in Los Angeles at Long Beach, you've got the Carnival Miracle sailing today. Headlines today, the Norwegian escape gets stuck on a sandbar. We actually had some direct contact with uh, my contact on board the ship as this was happening yesterday and when it got freed last night. Talk about that in a second. CDC lowered their guidance again. Norwegian cancels multiple sailings in Europe, UK to end all travel restrictions. And the latest from the Jinting Hong Kong debacle. And much more here at 11 o'clock this morning. If you're listening to this via the podcast, ooh, I've got to figure out how to do the podcast today since I'm taping as opposed to live. That might change my procedure some. But hopefully the podcast will be up about its normal time. Uh, you can always access the podcast via my blog, which is accessadventure.net, or, of course, any of the places where you always get your podcasts, like Google Podcasts and Apple Podcasts. Uh, I guess it's Amazon Music, Pandora, Stitcher, Podchaser, Spotify, all the biggies. To search for travel and cruise industry news and you'll get the big old fat travel guy we do this every day at 11 a.m with the latest in travel and cruise news from around the world quite often i post pictures and clips when i'm on cruises like i am now uh, or some of the chili cruises family is on cruises and sends me stuff that i can post so anytime you're listening to the podcast, you might always want to check down in the description, get a video, the video feed, the link, and go check out the pictures and clips. So today we have one kind of a little feature, and this because I, I, this was so funny when I saw it. You know, yesterday we were in Nassau. Uh, I did the show live because we were kind of late uh, arriving in Nassau as far as normal schedule. Plus, they didn't have any, they weren't offering any accessible excursions. So that's why I changed and did the show live yesterday. But our friend Elizabeth is on the ship, I'm on the ship with her, of course, this week. Uh, she had to do her tour in uh, as, uh, the shopping tours in, in Nassau. But she did this clip yesterday when she got off the ship. Now, this was probably taped. About the time we were doing the show yesterday, but when I saw this last night, I laughed so hard, I was just, <laughs> just split a gut. But anyway, here's Elizabeth on location from yesterday. Okay, here we are getting ready to do the shopping tour in Nassau. It's a bit windy, as you can see. I'm glad I did my hair today. Can you hear me? Anyway. It's a beautiful day in Nassau. Let me show you. This is what it's like in Nassau. And I'm getting ready to do a little shopping tour so people can go to Diamonds International inside where it's nice and cozy and warm. Look about that. Would you like to come shopping with me? I'll give you a free diamond necklace for everybody who comes. Yeah. <laughs> no, 
that was Elizabeth on location yesterday. I thought that was funny, especially she's saying, hey, you want to come shopping with me? I'll give you a free diamond necklace. I, of course, she was being humorous to us on that one. So I don't know. Maybe she does give people free diamond necklace. I don't know. I don't go shopping. Anyway, uh, we get get back with today's news here after a word from one of our network sponsors. Oh, and we get an announcement well, here. Very good morning, ladies and gentlemen. And once again, so welcome hold to on, the folks. Embassy's Mayor Reserve and Private Island. We are very excited to have you visit this relaxing paradise. And we are pleased to announce that the, the island is ready for you to explore. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, the island is ready for you to explore. As you explore the island and find your perfect spot, please remember that we have a few activities for you to enjoy. For more information, you can check your island program. For those guests staying on board, we have a variety of activities programmed throughout the day for you. Don't forget, we have a light show up tonight at 9 and 10 p.m. As well as a Luna Libre beach party by the Lounge House Bay. Lighthouse Bay. And lastly, a regular reminder to all our guests who have not registered the credit cards to please do so today in order to be ready to settle your accounts. You can do so by using the kiosk located on deck 5 and deck 6. Once again, this must be done today. I repeat, this must be done today. Thank you for your cooperation. Whatever you decide to do, enjoy yourselves. And once again, welcome to Ocean Bay. This is Deputy Director. Bye for now. All right, that was our cruise director. So, I, you know, when you're doing sh stuff, uh, taping on a ship, you're going to have announcements uh, quite often. All right, on with the news. Okay, the New Origin escape ran aground yesterday off the coast of Puerto Plata in the Dominican Republic. All guests and crew were reported to be fine. The 1,090 uh, foot long ship departed um, Port, uh, Port Canaveral on Saturday. For a seven-day cruise to the Caribbean, Puerto Plata was the ship's first port of call. And according to a report, she was departing in very windy conditions. As she came out of the harbor, it grounded in apparently some coral and sand and another announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, also another friendly reminder is to avoid issues with internet connection when you are getting off the ship. Make sure that you stop the ship network connection and you can go ahead and connect to the Ocean K hotspot once again. This is for guests that are going out and about today to avoid internet connection issues. Before you get off the ship, stop the ship network connection and connect to the Ocean K hotspot. Obviously, once you come back to the ship, disconnect from Ocean K hotspot and connect to MSC Marabilia hotspot. This is just a recommendation in order for you to avoid any internet connections that you might experience later on today, just as an FYI. Have a good day, everyone. This is David Cruz Rector. Bye for now. Okay, if we get interrupted again, folks, I'll just end this and retake. Sorry about that. Uh, anyway, so she was in windy conditions, and apparently that was part of the reason why, but that the People on board said they just felt a thud, and there was a slight listing uh, after she st uh, st got stuck. And basically what happened, uh, according to my contact on board, and we had a direct contact last night, um, the, they thought the windy conditions had caused the whole situation. Unfortunately, against what all the news reports are saying, uh, it was 10 minutes after 9 last night when I got a text that said that she was free. So they were waiting for high tide, uh, which would lift the ship up. And it was free. They did go back into port. As of about an hour ago this morning as I'm taping this, the vessel was still docked in, in the Dominican Republic in Puerto Plata, uh, where they were going to conduct a, a uh, inspection to make sure that there was no damage. Uh, from it grounding yesterday for several hours. But anyway, apparently, at least at, at, from what we know at this point, there was no damage. Uh, nobody was hurt or anything like that, but it was just a kind of an embarrassing situation for 
the Norwegian ship to get grounded. That's happened before. I'm sure it'll happen, be, it'll happen again. But anyway, that was the uh, Norwegian escape yesterday. Uh, and no news yet on what they're going to do with changing the schedule. I think they were supposed to be in St. Thomas today. So I'm sure the, the, their schedule will be altered now somewhat, assuming that they continue on with the cruise after the inspection. All right, less than a month after the uh, travel health notice uh, from the CDC was lowered from level four to level three, now the CDC has once again dropped its warning for cruise ships down another notch to level two. Uh, yesterday, the CDC uh, uh, dropped it to level two, which indicates that taking a cruise presents a moderate health risk. Previously, at 11 three, level three, cruising was a high risk category. And of course, it was level four before that. My first three cruises, it was at level four. Norwegian Cruise Line has decided to cancel multiple Norwegian getaway sailings in Northern Europe. It follows a further review of the situation in Eastern Europe, even though the cruise line had already removed calls to Russia. The cruise line has released, released further detailed update due to the developing situation in Eastern Europe. Guests were notified that all Norwegian getaway departures from June 14th until October 9th are canceled. NCL has not announced any replacement voyages or deployments for the ship at this time. The first sailing following the cancellations is October 28th, a 10 night cruise from Copenhagen to Southampton. At the end of November 2022, the getaway will be spending some time out of Italy before sailing a transatlantic voyage to New York City. No idea what they're going to do with that big hole in the schedule now. Uh, but since they have not changed October 28th, you got to assume that it's going to end up in Copenhagen uh, by then. Would just be my guess, at least. The UK is ending all pandemic-induced travel restrictions as of the 18th. That would be a couple days from now. This was announced uh, on the government, government website earlier today. According to the update uh, from 4 a.m. local time on March 18th, no one entering the UK will need to take tests or complete passenger locator form previously required because of the coronavirus pandemic. This change, therefore, removes the need for unvaccinated passengers to take a pre-departure test and a day to post-arrival test. Additionally, the remaining managed hotel quarantine capacity will be fully stood down, as they say over there, from the end of March. This will make the UK one of the first major economies to end all COVID international travel rules according to the update. According to public records, V Ships Leisure is now managing the whole the Genting Hong Kong debacle. It's managing the Genting Dream and the World Dream, which are part of the Genting gen liquidation process. 150,000 tons and with a capacity for 3,400 guests, the modern mega ships have become the largest to ever been outsourced to a management a ship management company. As previously reported, V Ship Leisure is also overseeing the three Crystal uh, Cruises ocean vessels. So that is still a mess, and we still have no idea how that whole situation is going to end over there in Hong Kong. So. That's going to wrap me up for today's news today, folks. Again, sorry that this is not live this morning. We will discuss this tomorrow on the live show and see how it goes today with me putting a tape show up as opposed to a live. We will check that out uh, and see if uh, it was a complete disaster or in fact it worked. So 
the unfortunate thing is I'm not going to be in the chat room. So if you guys had shared some chats and stuff, I will check everything uh, when I view the broadcast later on when I get back on board. But uh, at any rate, uh, that's it for today, folks. For now, this is the old fat travel guy. You guys stay safe, stay healthy. Think about cruising. And hopefully we'll all meet real soon on the high seas. I'll see everybody tomorrow morning live at 11 a.m. For now, this is Chili, the fat travel guy. Later, y'all. I regularly post videos on all facets of the travel and cruise industry. So if you like to keep up with the latest in cruise ships, ports of call, cruises themselves, Chili Chats, and travel and cruise industry news, just hit the little subscribe button in the lower right-hand corner, hit the bell notification so you'll be notified when a new video is up or we go live. This video was produced by Chili's Cruises.